guys, welcome to a full day of eating video. Today is a very typical training day. Just have one training session in the morning and that's it. So I'll just take you through all of my meals and uh, all of my snacks and all of the uh, liquids that I consume today. So over the video. I also have to put out a pretty big disclaimer whenever I do a, a day of eating video. This is not like the perfect diet for every single footballer. This is just one random day of my life. I'm showing you all the foods that I eat, everything that I consume. It's not gonna be the perfect diet for every single footballer out there. This is just what I've found to work for my body. You know, and every single person is different and every person is gonna have a different meal plan that works for their body. Of course, there's tons of similarities out there, but I know pros that skip breakfast in the morning and feel fantastic at training. I know pros that eat 4,000 calories a day, 500 carbs a day, and feel fantastic. I know pros who eat 2,000 calories a day, maybe like 75 grams of protein, and feel fantastic. So whenever you're watching these videos, always kind of take the foods that they're eating, the amounts that they're eating with a grain of salt. That's what that pro has probably found that works really well for him or her. And you can take aspects of that and apply it to your own diet, but just don't assume that this is what every single footballer should be doing and what you should be doing. So having said that, this is gonna be my breakfast. I'm having three eggs over easy with some spinach and mushrooms and some Cholula sauce, a full cut up orange, a small piece of wheat bread with half an avocado and a banana. Typically, I don't have this avocado toast, but yesterday we bought some avocados for a dinner that Mimi and I are gonna to make tonight. So I thought they looked really good and I wanted to add this to this morning's breakfast. After breakfast, I'm having a little latte in the coffee hour. I mean, you could be very boring and just see a smiley face, but I am gonna see a skateboarder on a half pipe. But the milk that I use is actually this lactate protein milk. So it has a little bit extra protein in it. Um, and I'm also lactose intolerant. So I do that for my wife, <laughs> but I have that and the coffee and it actually tastes really good as well. Okay, so I have to leave for training in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, have my coffee, and hopefully Scarlett's gonna wake up here soon. I can grab her, come downstairs, and uh, have a little relaxing morning with her. And by relaxing, I mean changing diapers and cleaning up her spit up and all that kind of stuff. But I think she's still feeding right now, so probably got like five, 10 minutes. Guess who's awake? Scarly Warly. Scarly Warly. Just on my way to training right now, about a 20 minute drive. One thing that you guys will probably see in the locker room today is I had this discussion with Antoine like, I don't know, a week ago on the last trip. And basically we were saying like how many push-ups we could do in an hour. And we got talking and we got betting. And I said that he could not do over 500 push ups in an hour. And he's like, oh, I can for sure. And then we're like talking about it, talking about it, but just being in season, we don't want to have a day where we're doing 500 push ups. But Kembo, Kembo's been injured. So he wants to take the bet. We were talking about it yesterday before training. And I think tonight he's going to try to do the 500 push ups in an hour. We have some money put on the line. Uh, but I'm just like, no, there's no way because that's pretty much doing like eight or nine push ups a minute every single minute for 60 minutes straight. So that's 60 sets of eight or nine push-ups, And that sounds easy. And that is easy probably for the first 10 to 20 sets, depending on how strong you are. But for 60 sets, there's no way, there's no way. Kembo, you feeling good about the 500 push-ups? Tonight, man. We're doing it. We're gonna do it tonight. You think you got it? You gotta push, man. I'm getting money and I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna do it. And strategy is to go out hard at the beginning and ease up at the end. No, no, no. I'm gonna go half. So like 20 at the start. I'm not gonna tire myself, but like medium. 20 maybe. Yeah. And then after that, I'm gonna try and keep 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And at that point, once it gets to the last hundred, I'll probably be dying. But you just gotta. <laughs> You think he's got it? I think he's got it. I, I trust my roommate. <laughs> so. You got it? Just yell, just yell. How many push-ups can you do in an hour? 300. 300, see?
Very good. I mean, any time that you start off a season and you have like, start off with ties and losses, especially games where you feel like that you can win or tie and you end up losing, um, it's really starts to put a lot of pressure on you. And so it's really great to have that first one of the season and then kind of release some of that pressure. Yeah, you're off to a pretty good stretch now. You got team a week a couple weeks ago. Well, what's been helping you play well? I think just overall the training. I mean, we have really good training sessions, focused on the areas that I think we need to work on. Um, we're improving every single week. I think we're getting better and better. And then I think that reflects individually. I mean, you can't get those awards or get anything if your team's not doing well or or uh, performing. So just overall having the team do well and have good training sessions and get the touches that you need, it, it helps you individually on the field. And you got the Open Cup coming up against the Revs, um, an opportunity to have a good showing against an MLS team. But you've been around the league for a while. Have you had any experience with that? Yeah, yeah, I've played against two or three MLS teams now in the Open Cup, and it's always extremely fun. I mean, you always want to challenge yourself to the next level, and it's great to be able to see exactly that next level right there in front of you. So it's going to be a really fun challenge. Hopefully we can perform well. Hopefully we can get a win and keep on going in the Open Cup. Those runs in the Open Cup are, are so much fun. So um, definitely looking forward to Tuesday. And can you rate Jesse L's goal celebration? <laughs> Jesse, Jesse. Said, as you can see, doesn't even have time to react with that left footed finish. Great goal and a great finish. 2 0 Hartford. That'll officially go down in the 35th. Sadie's came in the 31st. I don't know what that was, but it came after a goal to make it 2 0 for Hartford. He loves celebration. I remember when we were doing the. Uh, the media day thing, he had like 16 celebrations. It took me forever until I could have lunch after him. So I think it was a solid eight out of 10. Tons of effort, tons of passion in there. I, I wanted to give him a little bit more time to celebrate before everybody came in and, and hugged him. But uh, but yeah, it was pretty good. Absolutely. No vegetables, Absolutely huh? Absolutely no vegetables. <laughs> if you want to look like this, you don't eat vegetables. <laughs> Just finishing up training. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. It was a really short, sharp session, but really intense. Um, and then afterwards, as you guys saw for the full day of eating, we had the penne pasta with the marinara sauce with some chicken parmesan. Then we had the side salad with some veggies on there. We had some garlic bread and then um, had some water to drink. So that was lunch. It is absolutely beautiful out. It's like 67 degrees and sunny and the leaves are coming in. The grass is green. It's not too bad right now in Connecticut. So I'm gonna enjoy my coffee out here, relax. Mimi's still working inside, Scarlett's sleeping, so I can just chill for a little bit. But I know Mimi has to do some work later on today. She's a couple Zoom calls and stuff, so I'll be on Scarlett duty here shortly. Having a little snack, a naranja, having this outside, full day of eating. There you go. That's it. Expertly peeled, you didn't mention. Thank you for peeling my orange, Mimi, even though I wanted it sliced. <laughs> sliced oranges are way better than peeled oranges. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it, I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna go, hey, why? I'm gonna go for afternoon snack number two. It's not gonna be the most healthy, but I'm hungry and I wanna eat it. I'm gonna have some cheddar snack mix. Uh, again, this is not like a healthy snack by any means. It's just pretzels and Cheez-Its and all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna have this. Scarlett, you're just talking up a storm right now. Time for dinner. Mimi and I are gonna make a white bean chicken chili. It's really good, really healthy. Literally in there is like two full rotisserie chickens, tons of white kidney beans, corn, jalapeno, onion, and chicken stock, pretty much. Anything else that I'm missing? Garlic and spices. Garlic and spices. So all just really, really good, healthy ingredients 
thrown in there. It's really good. And then we add like a whole bunch of avocado on top and it's fantastic. So I'm gonna make that right now super quick. It should take like 30 minutes and uh, that's dinner. So let's power this out. Dinner, like I said, white bean chicken chili with some avocado, and then I'm also having a whole bunch of water, and then I put in a little uh, uh, electrolyte drink mix in there as well, just like the powder packet. I'm not gonna say which one because there's no free promotions on this channel, but it's uh, Element. I just have the Element Stay Salty <laughs> one. <laughs> Pretty good. It is extremely salty though. Okay, the final thing, I'm gonna have the Petite Ecolier for dessert. I'm gonna have a full package of these. I think that comes with six cookies. Maybe even a couple of Mimi's where she hasn't finished. But well, you're not uh, having a full like packet packet. No, but a full, there's like six cookies yeah. in here. Um, let's see the six servings per container. Serving size is two biscuits. I'm two? Like six, okay, yeah. don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why did you have to I'm gonna have that? a few of these for dessert. They're really good. Um, but I guess I gotta have some chocolate. If I don't have a day without chocolate, like, that's not good. You mean if you don't have a chocolate? If I don't have a day without chocolate, that's what I said. If you have a day without chocolate. If I don't have a day without chocolate. Oh yeah, if I have a day without chocolate, <laughs> it's not good. So that's gonna be dessert, and that's gonna wrap up the full day of eating. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, this is just my diet, just a random day, being as honest as I possibly can. Everything that I eat, don't take this as like the, the ultimate diet for every footballer. This is what works for me and my body. Find out what works for you, and of course, take some stuff um, from my diet if you want to. Anyway, let's go bathe this little one and put her to bed while I'm having my petite écolier. If you guys liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, peace! A little update on the whole push-up thing. Kembo is doing the push-ups right now. He's at 50 push-ups and he's two and a half minutes in. Oh, I just got word he's 100 push-ups in four minutes. He has to do 500. It's a marathon, not a sprint, Kembo. Yeah, we'll see. It's what it has He's to gonna sprint. wear himself out. <laughs> 104 minutes. I think I lost this bet. That's crazy. <laughs> I'll say I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll update you um, at the end.